Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to another wonderful day of Star Wars Adventure in Sky Saga. And um, this is a brand new game that's in alpha. And I'm just excited because it's, it's uh, I don't know, it seems different. It's going to be different like anything else we played. So what are we going to pick? Well, let's pick a lizard. There's different races here. There's human, cat, and lizard. So... What is Sky Saga? Well, basically, it's a sandbox MMO, and uh, basically, you're given a little you know, island that you're you're able to to build on, and then from there, you can travel to other places, and adventure, and fight, and do all kinds of cool stuff like that. So let's kind of look at the colors that we have here. S signature colors. So what's that? Okay, so that looks like these things on the side here. So okay, I guess this is the color that you want to choose if you want to choose a color. So it's choose your blue as well. I don't know if I want to do blue. That's okay. Cool. We can do skin tone. Oh, okay. So there's different colors. How do you change these though? Oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see. So we'll pick purple, and then maybe we'll pick. A lighter purple. I mean, we'll pick a blue like that. Yeah. The eye color. Let's pick. Oh, okay. Cool. This is cool. Look, look how you can change them. We'll do that. Hairstyle. Uh, I, I like that head. Uh, hair color. Let's kind of make it a little bit different color. Okay. Perfect. This is my name, is Charlotte, and let's continue. Okay, and now this is kind of like a mini game that they do where you can choose a photo and you can vote on it. And I don't know what it does, but I'm not sure what the point of this is or why you'd want to take pictures or vote or anything like that. So, what is this game other than that? You know, you can build and do all that stuff. Well, <clears throat> I don't know. We're going to check it out together. You know, it's typical sandbox MMO, so which means that you can do whatever and I got some major performance issues here my mouse um, you know, I'm gonna have to change the, the quality here of the graphics I think so I will be right back okay here we go I didn't change my mouse sensitivity crap okay well that's okay we can kinda work with this so what's all this stuff here let's see I need to fix this I'll be right back Okay, here we are. So hopefully everything, okay, everything should be working now better, more smoother. Okay, so what is this game? Well, I don't know. Let's figure it out. To equip a tool, open your rucksack, and how do we equip it? Do we click and drag it down here? Uh, okay, I see. Let's do this. Oh, there we go. To crop air to your resources, get one plank from a tree. Oh, here we go. Cool. So let's see. Here's the trees. Can we zoom out? Shift zoom out. How do you zoom out of our character? Um, P. No. Um, <laughs> C. Okay, that's like this is okay that's cool uh, how about M for map okay looks like we got the map uh, what's the R R is the backpack okay what's Q Q is crafting I guess hand crafting tools and weapons stone pickaxe sharp rock and wood planks okay this is kind of neat so you can dismantle items that's cool I like harvesting resources so let's click some wood here. Right click. So I guess my weapon's in my right hand, so. You know, e to pick up. Cool. Now can I destroy this? Oh, okay. Looks like you can pick up stuff. Okay. Cool. Craft stone pickaxe. So let's go on here. We're going to craft stone pickaxe. Just click on it. 
Oh, you have to actually click to drag it? Ah, okay, that's interesting. Let's see here. And craft takes one second. Boom! Okay, we just got uh, upgraded equipment. That's awesome. So let's see here. Bone fragments. Better tools, harder to mine. Explore the ruins with yours and mine ore. Well, let's see where we can find some ore, hey? Let's see here. Oh, this is kind of neat. Lots of wood here, all, all these trees here. So it's kind of like Minecraft in that sense, where the trees stay. Oh, there's wood up there I want. Oh, all that crap. Okay. Huh. Okay, this is cool. How high can we jump? Okay, no, not that high. Let's jump up here and see if we can hit this tree. Like so. Perfect, so we can take the whole tree down. There we go. We might need this wood, so we might as well just chop it down. So I have no plans before this game. I, all I plan to do with this game is just to play it. Oh, there's a lot of wood from this tree, actually. What happens if I push and hold the E? It's like a vacuum, hey? Yeah, okay. Well, there we go. Let's kind of explore a bit. So we need to find some resources. We can pick that up. Uh, what's this? Can I break this? What comes out of this? Oh, that looks like that was a block. Okay, that's interesting. Might as well pick all these up, because I'm not sure if we'll need them. Man, the game looks beautiful for what it is. Like... A uh, chicken looks like they have life, that's kind of neat. Uh, let's see, there has to be some ore somewhere, hey? Let's see what's back here, is there anything behind this wall? Uh, I'm just right clicking to... To harvest, and looks like there I don't see anything in here. Huh. Pick that up. Let's pick this guy up. I don't know where to go. Let's 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 break into this place. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what's this? I thought, oh! Now see, there's that bar right, that you can see. Oh, it looks like it's not going anywhere. I want to go inside. Let's go up a bit. Okay, let's see here. No, okay, that's still not a way in. That's so weird. Let's keep digging. Maybe we'll find a way in there. Let's see here. Let's go this way. Wait. This way. Let's, let's, let's kind of dig upwards here. There has to be a way up. <laughs> uh, place blocks to explore explore your home island. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we need to Okay, and uh, chop this up. This is a little bit tougher. Okay. Here we go, we're on top now. Okay, so where are we? Where can I find some ore? Looks like there's a ladder here. Oh, cool. You can just walk on it. A ladder. Stairs. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, you know what? I forgot to do my timer, guys. So guess what? You get a freebie here. <laughs> this will be an extra long episode. <laughs> okay, what's over here? What's this stuff? Is this... Uh, gravel. Okay, that's interesting. What's down here? Uh, I can't see anything down here. Is there any way of how doing torches? Forge. Here we go. A wood torch. No do you need wood planks for that? Okay. We can do that. So we can see where we're going. There we go. What's in these? Are we allowed to harvest these? Let's see what... Oh, what's that? It looks like that's grub. That's food. Do we need to eat food in this game? Huh. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here what's down here. Oh, what's this? What's this? Is this what we're looking for? Oh, this is cool. Oh, look at that. Amazing. That's probably ore. So let's do that. Let's check that out. Let's mine this ore. Look at all this ore here. Man, let's jump up to the top here. And start right up here. Yeah, perfect. I have to collect nine of these. Okay, so let's start at the top and dig our way down. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, uh, four to nine. Ah, I see. One, charge, let go. Charge. Let's see what a hit, charge, let go. So there's a way of doing like a power attack, which is kind of cool. Um, you kind of you tap, it looks like, and then you hold and let go. And bang, it's a harder hit. That's cool. Okay, so it looks like we completed that quest. Now it probably wants us to go in here, it wants us to create a forge. Okay, I see. So let's put the coral stone in here since it's regular stone. You can probably make this other colors. That's interesting. We have different materials will have different effects on items you craft. We do that. But bang. Now what do we do with the forge? Um, let's put the forge here. Okay. Handcraft forge and equip it to put on the floor. So where do we put it on the floor then? Uh, it's gonna be craft actually, so let's just put it right here for now. Doesn't matter where we put it. Um, boom, okay. So this game does have high settings turned on, or the settings are turned up on this one. So I'm going to have to look at the settings and turn it down, because my frame rate's kind of low. I can kind of feel it as I move the mouse, but that's okay. Uh, use the ore you just found to craft three metal plates in your forge. So let's go into our forge. I need to try and get to the hub as, as soon as I can, so click on that. Move that there. And go craft. It takes... 15 seconds, as you can tell up here. I wonder what happens if you close it. Cool. So you think it can... Ah, oh, there you go. It shows you up top. That's kind of cool. Let's see. We're just waiting for this to finish. Okay, it looks like it's done. Do we have to pick them up? Or is it automatically pick them up? Find the damaged keystone oven and use those plates to fix it. That's probably this thing, which is the keystone oven. And we move these right here. We go repair. Four seconds, which is nothing. And voila. It's, it is, it's fixed. It's done. This kind of reminds me of Creative Versus game, which is kind of funny. Now I can craft tree. Uh, you can, oh, sorry. 
tree stones and keystones. So I think that's what these things are, these green stuff. So if we pick back to here, let's dig some of this stuff up. Let's see. So basically when we travel anywhere, we're going to make sure that we we use or we find all these keystones because these are very important, I think. I can see this game being um, like a game where you can pay to play type of thing. Um, I can't remember what the model is called, but basically it's fr it's a free to play and then you just pay for the cosmetic things uh, or for like the tokens or whatever to buy all this stuff with. Otherwise you can probably harvest everything you gather everything manually just would take more time right so as far as what this game looks like to me it looks like a lot like minecraft mixed with creativeverse because well it's a voxel engine that they're using of course so uh, open a portal to new world try crafting light green ones so i think we have to go to keystone oven click on that we need five fragments and there we go so this will be done very shortly. Let's see if we have to be in it to, to harvest it. No, it looks like we don't have to do anything. Okay, cool. Now equip the keystone and throw it in the the portal. Or sign up to the portal. Okay. Let's do that. So rucksack R. Click and drag this down here. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me, why is this not? There you go. Okay. So I got it equipped and let's see, how do we stand it how, how do we throw it in here? E? Uh, right click. Right click. Okay, that's cool. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh beautiful. It's so dark in here. No lights. <laughs> Bang! Look at that. That's a portal. That's so cool. Well, we're not prepared, but let's go anyways. Whew.